here. I am Leslie Patterson, um, three-time Xterra World Champion. I am going to walk you guys through some really important um, stretches for run. So I have had many, many running injuries and one of the most important things uh, to mitigate the risk of injury while running is actually opening up our hips. Uh, when we're triathletes, we cycle a lot, we crunch a lot, um, and what that does is it shortens all these hip flexors and it causes us to change our mechanics when we're running. So if we have really tight hips, we can't get the range of motion through our running posture. And as a consequence, we start to uh, adjust and change things in our running mechanics. So we twist our heel in to compensate, which puts more pressure on the Achilles or the calves. Um, we start to you know, drop and pivot and use different parts of our hips and body and put everything out of alignment. So uh, one of my most favorite uh, hip stretches for running is actually if you're on the ground on a nice soft surface or just having a pad on your knee, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come forward into kind of like a lunge with your back leg like this and both kind of legs facing forward, your feet kind of foot on the right side would be um, at a right angle. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drive our arms up into the air and sink our hips down. Be careful not to overextend your back like that. Make sure everything is nice and pushed forward and get what we call an anterior pelvic tilt going. So pushing your hips under as you come forward. So you're gonna pulse down. And I do this 10 times with the arms coming forward. I can feel that. And then you're gonna take your right arm over your body and you're gonna pulse 10 times in that direction. We're getting all the different parts of where the hips uh, attach, the hip flexors attach. Other arm over the other side of the body. Oh yeah. Now you're gonna come across the body as well. Again, we always wanna work in all different planes of motion because when we're running, we're moving in all different types of direction and we're getting forces through the body at all different points. It comes across the body as well. I love it. And then you can actually open up as well and get the inner groin. So you just kind of move your knee forward like that and you just kind of pulse forward really lightly. That will get kind of the inner groin and that hip capsule, which can get really, really tight with all the sitting that we do after all the training that we do. Now keep in this position, this might be a bit tough to balance, but you know, I'm good at that. Hubby is not so good at that, but that's okay. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna lift up your ankle here and you're gonna get your quad. Again, with all of the cycling and all of the strength, that we do, especially if you're quad dominant. If those quads get too tight, they pull the pelvis forward into that um, uh, pelvic tilt that causes a lot of stress on the hamstrings. That's when we get hamstring injuries. So here we go, what I'm doing is I'm just pushing again that pelvis forward and I'm gonna hold this position, getting a nice deep quad stretch. And if you're really good, you can either put one arm up, you can put the other arm up too. And again, just kind of change all the different sort of stretches. We don't want that lower back or dosis to come in at all. Otherwise, you're not going to get that full stretch of the course.